Welcome right. back to Deadwood Casting and Turning. And today, we're going to make a nautical charcuterie board. So let's get to turn. All right, we have our maple burl. We're going to trim it up a couple directions so it'll fit in our mold. So let's get started. Gonna be a pretty, be some pretty uh, pin blanks right there. All right, we have our maple burl, and what we're going to do now is we're going to seal it. We've got some resin right here, and we're going to make sure we get all in all these little cracks and crooks and crevices, and seal this wood real good to reduce. Um, thermal reaction whatever you want to call it so we're going to start off trying to paint up in here really good
definitely a messy process. let it go for a couple for the next 24 hours all right we have our board sealed now and we're fixing to pour in some of the colored resin and we are going to use a couple colors from eye candy pigments we're going to use iceberg blue and Persian purple. So we have our resin over here already measured out. And the initial mixing goes. We're going to be kind of heavy handed on the colors because we want a nice deep color. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that sucks. We have our project out of the mold and we have it leveled off. So now all we need to do is sand it up and get it ready for our final coat. And then our charcuterie board slash serving tray will be ready. All right, I'm gonna start on the bottom just because I always start on the bottom of something. That way if I mess it up, it can be hid. And I'm gonna go from 40 to 320 and then we'll put our final coat on it so i'll let y'all see me get started and then we'll be back once we're finishing up now based on advice from other makers that have done this type of project the easiest way to say to tell when you're done with the grit is to draw on it and once you sand all those pencil marks off then you're ready to move on to the next grit so we are going to draw on it with our pencil and we are going to get started Thank you. 
Okay, we have our final finish done. So what we're going to do is we're, we've got our handle set. So we're, we're now going to set, drill our holes and get our handles put on. I'm using the packing that the handles came with to get the spacing for our holes. And I'm going to drill from the bottom up. Just because that's the way I like to do it.
There we go. Our first charcuterie board slash serving tray with handles. All right, so stay tuned. And I'll see you in a few minutes.